Harlem Week Closing Gala at the Mural Pavilion of Harlem Hospital Center took place this evening and uh, we took opportunity to think about our theme, Harlem, home of immigrants, honoring New York's international diversity and honored two outstanding New Yorkers who are Harlemites and come from different backgrounds. We honored Bill Thompson, the former controller of the city of New York, deputy borough president, who is now the chairman of the city universities of New York. I was in public service. It was you know, a great honor this evening to be part of this event, be part of this closing ceremony for Harlem Week to be an honoree during Harlem Week event. The thing about Harlem Week and, and, and tonight, celebrating immigrants. Celebrating immigrants, that's what, when Lloyd asked who in here or whose folks are from some other place, almost all of us raised our hand. Almost all of us raised our hand. I raised my hand, we talk about Harlem. Harlem has embraced generation after generation after generation after generation of immigrants. Help to prepare them, help them to grow. And, and to be celebrated for my years of public service really made me feel very proud this evening. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I currently serve as the chairperson of the City University Board of uh, Trustees. And yeah, I've, I've, I've had the opportunity to be able to serve the people of this city in a number of different ways. So, but this evening, being singled out, being one of the two main honorees, really made it a very special evening. And Lloyd and the, the entire chamber, um, as I said, put a huge smile on my face. And we honored uh, Congressman Adriano Espia, who is the first Dominican congressman in the history of the United States from Harlem. So it is an honor tonight to see a man who came to this country with his parents, like so many in this room, that made his way by working hard, by putting a vision before him, and most certainly he's carrying that vision with him to Washington. It is very important in our tradition, because in the tradition, in the historical tradition of our peoples, friendship has been a quality that we always must keep up high. And I want to thank also my good friend, Billy Thompson, who uh, we have a long lasting working relationship for many years. He's a, a stand up guy and someone that does well uh, for our city. Happy, I want to thank my good friend Lloyd Williams and everybody that's associated with Harlem Wake and the Greater Harlem a Chamber of Commerce. This is a wonderful celebration of this iconic neighborhood here in New York City, Harlem, which uh, makes us all proud. It has a strong personality that really permeates across the world and across the United States. I'm happy to represent this neighborhood and we're going to keep it moving forward. Thank you so much. year, scholarships, internships, and grants are critical to that which we do during Harlem Week. This year, with your support, we are contributing over $125,000 in scholarships, grants, internships. And the person who makes that happen is uh, our treasurer, and our great friend, the treasurer of Harlem Week, Barbara Burwell, who will present one of the scholarships tonight. Barbara? On behalf of uh, Yasmin Cornelius, an individual who wanted to give a $1,000 scholarship to one of you. So Ms. Cornelius, we're very, very happy to receive it and present it to Olivia Cherry, who is already in school. Children go to school in the South in like 
August 15th, they have to be in school. So she's in school, so I'm just gonna let her father say anything he'd like to say about his daughter. I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Burwell, uh, Mr. Williams, and the, uh, the, greater, the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce for this recognizing the, uh, the achievements of my daughter. Um, this scholarship will go a long way to helping her uh, with her uh, college expenses, and, and thank you all for your support. I'd like to say I accept this, I give this award also on behalf of the members of my group, Rick Ray, uh, BJ, and Tony Hyman. Prior to uh, Lloyd and I and Gary doing our show, there was another voice in the mornings on WBLS talk radio, and that person is a music producer by the name of James and Tume. We wanted to have an opportunity to acknowledge James and Tume for his activism, uh, his professionalism, and his extraordinary skills as a music producer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, James and Tume can't be here with us, but his son, Pa, will be accepting the, award, the Community Service Award. Thank you for this. Um, as I said, my father had unfortunately fallen ill just earlier today, just a few hours ago. And I'm both thankful and humble to be here. Thankful that I can stand in this place and humble because I know that's the feeling that he would have. I love Harlem. Yeah. I was born and raised in Harlem. Um, I love the sidewalks. I love the people. I love, I love the edge that we have. I love the respect that we have for each other. And I'll never, I never want to go anyplace else. But I thank you because I see a lot of you and we've all, we're all family. And I thank you for being my family, for, for you letting, letting me be your family. Hey, Chef, how are you? <laughs> but with that being said, again, I thank Harlem Week, I thank you all, and I would like to close out and say, uh, with all due respect, championship respect, to a great activist, Dick Gregory. Yes. And may he rest in peace. Thank you much. Welcoming us. Thank you for welcoming our artists. And, 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 and we really appreciate the opportunity to be here and the great honor and the privilege. South Africa, Harlem hold a deep bond, much of which is also reflected in the culture and the music. When you listen to the early jazz of South Africa, of the 1940s and 50s, you also hear a parallel of, it's, it's almost like a, um, a call and response type of influence of music that was also speaking to what was being performed here. So it's really, really a deep um, and loving connection, which when I came, I felt that I was coming home in a way, to another home as well, but also to an experience that gives the, the joy of knowing that there is a world beyond the one we live in, a world that requires of us to be more than just ourselves, not only to be a part of a community, but to be a contributing part of our community, whether we are artists or whatever we do, that we have a perspective of giving, not just for the sake of it, but also to part of contributing to something greater. Building the theme of Harlem as uh, Harlem Week as an international event uh, with Cuba. Uh, the Cubans come from Havana uh, to Harlem in August, and Harlem goes to Havana in February. And by next year, we will start creating the exchange with Senegal, that it will be Harlem going to Senegal, as well as Senegal coming to Harlem.